welcome to this lecture 22nd. So, we will continue with the, the ground water pollution. by industrial sources so we have discussed the the liquid wastes and uh, tank and pipeline leakage yesterday in the way I am sorry in the previous class and in this lecture we will continue the discussion and we will go over to that is a pollution from mining waste. and uh, oil field brines so in this pollution from mining waste so basically it depends upon So, this uh, depends upon the material ex extracted. So, this uh, coal, phosphate, and uranium mines. So, these are the major contributors for pollution and uh, iron, copper, zinc, lead mines. So, these are quite important. It is other important contributors and here. So, the quarries of uh, stone, sand, gravel quarries. So, they are uh, less important chemical for the simple reason that. So, this stone, sand or gravel, so they are chemically stable compounds, so therefore, they are less important. And uh, coming to this coal deposits, so coal deposits result in or uh, are rather are associated with pyrites. which is uh, essentially it is ferrous sulphide 
and this when the spirite F e s 2 or pyrite oxidizes due to low water table. So, this F e s 2 as such is quite stable, chemically stable. So, when if when the water table is quite low, then this uh, FeS2 or pyrite oxidizes to ferrous sulfate and uh, sulfuric acid and these two this ferrous sulfate and sulfuric acid. So, they are uh, the one which cause the pollution. So, these this ferrous sulfate and then sulfuric acid will uh, reduce pH because both of them are uh, as uh, this uh, sulfuric acid is after all as acid and ferrous sulfate is uh, salt it is also acidic the solution is acidic so therefore they will reduce ph and increase fe as well as Fe plus 2 or plus 3 as well as uh, this SO4 minus 2 the sulphate uh, uh, concentration and hence pollution. So, therefore, so this po pollution from mining waste is uh, important. Now, let us go to the next the last uh, one that is the pollution by oil field brines. So, these brines include sodium, calcium, ammonia, boron, then chloride, sulphate, trace metals, and uh, total dissolved solids. So, basically brine is a uh, the saturated solution of a salt of uh, any of these either sodium, calcium or ammonium, boron. Um, and here, so earlier, so this brine used to be discharged into streams or uh, evaporation ponds. So, but uh, presently 
So, this is uh, prohibited by law. However, so because the implementation is not proper, since implementation is weak so this brines do pose a problem and uh, in this context pose severe problem of pollution by increasing the concentration of uh, the metals or the uh, the salts of which the brine is uh, composed of so now we will move on to the the groundwater pollution from agricultural sources. Again here let us uh, consider the effects of agricultural use of water So, here what happens is when the water is used for agriculture and in fact it is it constitutes quantitative, quantitatively it constitutes the major use. So, it will uh, it may either go as a agricultural solid waste or it may join the atmosphere through evapotranspiration transpiration or uh, which is abbreviated as E T or it may go as an application of uh, additives or it may go as uh, tail water. which is the which eventually joins with the agricultural return flow. So, this agricultural solid waste they may move on to sanitary landfills from the sanitary landfill. the solid portion may move as a leachate and the gaseous portion may get released as gases. And uh, here this one when this agricultural water discharge gets uh, discharge into atmosphere through evapotranspiration it may cause soil reactions and uh, so these soil reactions so basically part of it may saturate the soil and then it may percolate into groundwater ground water uh, 
percolation. While this application of additives, so this will result in say changes in soil zone so in this case so these additives may be this uh, soil amendments or fertilizers or pesticides and so they may also percolate into the ground water and the stale water which is uh, which may get into surface water and then from surface water it may percolate into ground water and uh, or it may go to oceans. So, this is uh, how of course, so this is also so, this uh, diagram is also from the same source that is uh, a study by Hassan in 1974. So, wherein the effects of agricultural use of water have been uh, nicely uh, depicted in a flow chart. Now, we will uh, discuss the various components within the which cause the ground water pollution from agricultural sources. So, they are irrigation return flows, followed by animal wastes followed by fertilizers and soil amendments followed by pesticides insecticides or herbicides. And herbicides. So, now let us discuss these uh, sub components of the ground water pollution from agricultural sources one by one. So, firstly the irrigation return flows. So, these irrigation return flows constitute approximately one third to half of the irrigation water. Essentially, the irrigation water which does not undergo evapotranspiration will appear as irrigation return flow. And uh, here, so these irrigation return flows, so what they do is, so they increase the salinity and thereby increase in the concentration of uh, so the cations and it has been estimated. So, this increase in salinity 
of water. So, that is it has been estimated as it is 3 to 10 times. So, the So, there are uh, in uh, this uh, increase in the concentration of uh, cations such as uh, sodium, magnesium, calcium, then uh, so these are the major this one, whereas uh, anions. are uh, say chloride, nitrate, then sulphate, and bicarbonate. So, because of uh, this reason, especially due to the increase in the this uh, salinity of uh, water by 3 to 10 times. So, this irrigation trend flows are very important. Now, let us go to this uh, animal waste. How this uh, animal waste will cause or will increase the pollution. So, here wherever the animals are, uh, when animals are confined, when say large number of animals are confined to a very small area, or a, a small that is limited area either for uh, either for uh, dairy production or say milk production. or for uh, beef production so large amount of uh, wastes are uh, deposited on ground So, these large amount of waste when uh, storm water runoff comes in contact with waste. it results in ground water pollution. And uh, this ground water pollution may be in the form of salts, organic loads and bacteria. So, therefore, we need to 
focus we need to be we need to consider this uh, ground water pollution from animal waste. Next we will come to the fertilizers and soil amendments. So, this fertilizers and soil amendments usually leach into ground water and uh, leach through soil to the, the water table. which is generally abbreviated as WT and obviously the fertilizers. So, they are mostly consisting of uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And uh, among this So, this phosphate and potassium and uh, this potassium fertilizers, generally do not cause pollution. However, so, this uh, the nitrogen is the primary pollutant from fertilizers. So, now coming to this soil amendments. So, this soil amendments consist of lime, gypsum, sulphur. applied to modify physi physical or chemical or physiochemical soil properties. So, these so, they eventually leach into ground water and increase salinity. And the last sub component of the ground water pollution from agricultural sources is through pesticides, herbicides and insecticides. So, 
So, the, the presence of these pesticides, herbicides and insecticides increases toxicity of groundwater and reduces uh, portability. even if they are in very small quantities. So, therefore, we need to account for the pollution caused by this uh, pesticides, herbicides and insecticides. So, these four sub components that is uh, irrigation return flows, animal waste, fertilizers and soil amendments as well as this pesticides, insecticides and herbicides, they constitute the, the pollution caused by agricultural uh, use of water. Now, let us come to the last source of uh, the last major source of pollution that is the ground water pollution from uh, miscellaneous and other sources. So, here we will consider the effect of urbanization and how it results in groundwater pollution we will uh, consider the spills and surface discharges stock piles We will move on to septic tanks and uh, cesspools. Followed by this roadway basing. followed by a saline motor intrusion then interchange through wells and lastly the surface water. So, now, we will briefly consider uh, each one of these one by one. Firstly, we will go to this urbanization. We know that, so in this urbanization, changes the land use
pattern on vast lands and uh, so eventually leads to change in groundwater quality by recharge into aquifers or discharge into streams. And it has been found that this urbanization in many cases urbanization leads to increase in nitrate chloride dissolved solids that is the total dissolved solids sodium calcium potassium especially in in young and shallow waters especially in young and shallow waters. So now, let us come to the ground water pollution caused by spills and uh, surface discharges. especially in this this uh, liquids which are discharged on the surface in an un, in an unregulated or uncontrolled manner will result in lot of uh, degradation of groundwater quality so that is a uh, unregulated discharge of liquids leads to ground water quality deterioration or degradation. So, in uh, industrial sites we have we may have uh, boil overs transfer losses or say losses 
during transfer or transportation transfer of uh, liquids pipe and uh, valve leakages inadequate control of uh, storm water runoff and wastes also so the washing of uh, aircrafts with solvents can cause a hydrocarbon layer so that is additionally this intermittent dumping of fluids near uh, gasoline stations gasoline or uh, say petrol stations etc leads to ground water pollution and lastly it is the accidents involving pipelines storage tanks railway wagons oil tankers etc results in ground water pollution obviously the spills and surface discharges they constitute one of the major sources of uh, this one ground water pollution so now let us move on to this uh, stock piles so the solids stored near industrial plants construction construction sites and large agricultural 
operations constitute these uh, stockpiles what are known as stockpiles so when precipitation okay, suppose this is a stockpile so when uh, precipitation falls so this is the precipitation when it falls on the stockpiles then the stockpiles will uh, cause leaching it causes leaching so this is a stockpile so it causes uh, this is the leachate and it flows into the soil and uh, so this leachate may contain heavy metals salts other inorganic compounds and uh, other organic compounds so they will result in this uh, ground water pollution next we will go to the ground water pollution caused by septic tanks and uh, cesspools a septic tank so this is a a water tight basin used to separate floating and uh, settleable solids from liquid domestic sewage so suppose so this is an individual house and here from this individual house so there could be a pipe leading to the septic tank and then so generally what happens is from the outlet pipe of the septic tank there will be a distribution box and this distribution box followed by a tile field so this is a tile field and here so this is a uh, under the tile field so there will be soil absorption followed by this will be over and above this biological treatment 
layer and there will be so this could be the water table and here when this uh, the septic tank moves and it reaches the water table so there it is the it constitutes the zone of uh, groundwater pollution So, we will briefly discuss this uh, cesspool. This is cesspool is essentially a large buried chamber with having porous walls. design which are designed to receive raw sewage, receive and percolate raw sewage. So, obviously, this uh, septic tanks as well as uh, cesspools. So, there will be percolation and uh, result in the ground water pollution. So, in the next lecture, we will discuss about the further uh, this one uh, further uh, components of the ground water pollution caused by agricultural sources and move on to the the attenuation measures for uh, ground water pollution. Thank you.